Hola, good people. This is your man DJ Wolf D coming at you with yet another Akai MPC software and MPC studio or Renaissance tutorial video. So uh, I, I got a request uh, on YouTube today from someone asking me how they would go about programming their drum beats with that extra swing, that extra swing beat style flavor that a producer like JD would always use Jay Dilla. Um, so that's what we're going to cover today. Uh, and it's actually uh, very simple. The main two things we're going to be focusing on, you, as you can see from here on the software screen, is the timing correct selection, this area, and also the swing function. Now, um, many years ago, back when uh, Roger Lynn and his crew uh, created the first Akai NPCs, they added this extra rhythmic feature to the NPCs, this extra swing feature, uh, which is now uh, known as the legendary NPC swing, uh, to give it more of a rhythmic swing than a normal uh, triplet note would. So uh, for those of you who, who don't quite understand what swing is or a swing beat is, uh, I'm going to just quickly uh, explain that to you uh, via a quick uh, drum programming lesson here. Okay, So right now, I'm about to program a two-measure beat, just some hi-hats, with no swing at all. all right? Just 16th notes with no swing at all. So this is just a straight beat with no swing. All right, so there it is. Just a straight beat, no swing. Now I'm going to program another beat as a 16th note triplet set of hi-hats. And you'll clearly be able to hear the difference as I play both of the sequences back and forth. Okay, so now let's go back. Alright, so you can clearly hear the difference. This has the added swing because I'm playing 16th note triplets. So it's the exact same amount of notes uh, at the exact same tempo, but it just has a completely different rhythmic feel. So one more time, our original sequence with no swing. And now, our new sequence with the swing. All right. Now, uh, let me go ahead and erase these sequences here. Uh, when it comes to that extra swing flavor that my man is talking about in terms of the JD style of production, uh, we're not going to use the 16th note triplets. We're going to just leave it on regular 16th notes, and instead of switching to a triplet, we're going to use this extra NPC swing flavor, okay? Uh, as a matter of fact, I'll give you an example between these two. All right, so once again, I'll program a 16th note triplet beat here. Now I'll create a new sequence, take the 16th note triplet off, put it back on regular 16th notes, and instead I'm going to use the swing feature. So just clicking my mouse, I'm going to drag this up to 75%, which is the max. Uh, and what I'm doing here on the software screen with the time correct and uh, the swing feature, you can actually do this on the hardware, on the MPC Studio or the MPC Renaissance. Uh, you would just click uh, on the main screen you would click the F1 button right below uh, your MPC Studio or Renaissance little screen window. Uh, hit the F1 button, which is the button for timing correct. So when I press that button, I have access to all the same stuff that I have on the software screen. So you can do this on the uh, hardware without the software at all, or you can do it on the software without the hardware at all, okay? 
So now, 16th note swing up to 75%. Let's go ahead and program that same beat with the hi hats. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and forth between sequence one and sequence two. And as you can see when I'm doing that, you can see from the actual notes on the grid, they're placed slightly different, which is giving it a different rhythmic feel. So let me play these two sequences back and forth. Here's the first one. And now the second. Back to the first, a slightly different rhythmic feel. So now when we start adding other percussion elements, the kick drums, the snares, all that type of stuff, we'll clearly be able to hear the difference once again. So now I'm going to just go ahead and uh, program an entire beat, let me erase this, using the 75% uh, swing feature. So let me go ahead and program away here. Okay, so as you can hear, the kick drums, the hi-hats, all that stuff, it's not like perfectly timed or perfectly on beat. And, and that's what this swing flavor does. It, uh, instead of making everything perfectly on beat, it uh, offsets it a little bit and gives it that more organic feel as if a live drummer might be playing who's not perfectly on. That's just what gives it that real deal organic you know, head nod feel there. All right, so one more thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna program that exact same beat not using any of the MPC swing. I'm just going to use a regular 16th note triplet format here. So go to sequence two, program the same beat. Alright, so now I'm going to play both these beats back to back. And as I'm playing this, I want you to look at the placements of the kick drums and the placement of the hi-hats as I change sequences and you can see that they're going to move, which is going to uh, show you this whole offset beat thing that you're hearing. All right, so you're able to visually see it as well as hear it. That's how you make use of the MPC swing feature 
to give it that more real deal, organic, slightly offbeat, JD, J Dilla type feel. All right, that's it for now. It's your man Wolf D signing out.